here no sa ating uh, sa um, City of Golden Friendship in Cagayan de Oro. Yeah, I'm very excited ako. I'm with the um, CDO Yusana leaders. So uh, good evening everyone. But before that, let me just ask everyone no kung sa parte kayo ngayon ng Pilipinas. Yan, sa parte kayo ng Pilipinas um, nasa um, Nasa overseas ba? Nasa outside the Philippines? Singapore ba? Can you please type it in the chat box? No? Bulacan. We have from Thailand, Cebu. May taga Spain pa. Ayan, Jensen. Good evening everyone. We have from Belgium, Laguna, Butuan City. Hello and uh, good evening to everyone. So before we start, no, alam natin we have a few announcements um, before we start our online business series. So the power of auto order is going to be shared to us tonight by our executive one star diamond director and this week our series is business essentials no i hope you were able to attend yung mga trainings natin from tuesday how to use the hub and uh yesterday no the ppps mindset by our diamond director amari uh, chris sarmento chua okay um these are a few announcements so our we forum too is we are going to break barriers on June June 13, 2021. So we are now selling tickets on sale. So we are now going to have our event no na full virtual event tayo. So from May from May one nung ang May one to June eleven, no we have already started selling the tickets. So if you want to be recognized. No, during our on uh, during our live ad uh, of our um virtual event which is the we forum no kailangan nating mag rank advance no para ang deadline nito for gold directors and above is june 4 of 2020 and yung sa silver and below that's january 20 hanggang may 21 okay hanggang this week and uh, maraming nagtatanong just a few announcement watch out for something new this is coming next week. Ayan. So, ano ba talaga itong um, something new? All right? We have the healthiest family on earth trainings. All right? So, uh, you have to watch out for the new format of our very exciting trainings. No, this is uh, something. This is, ito yung sinasabi naming something new. All right? Please, wa please watch out for the newest version of our a surprise no, of our trainings for I'm the healthiest family on earth. And if you are running for your leadership summit, we are currently on our last two weeks in Maldives. So for those who are qualifying for the leadership summit in Maldives, our deadline or our cutoff is on May 28, 2021. So the long weeks na lang po, wala na pong atrasan for those who are willing to, uh, those who are planning to go to Maldives, no? Summer fields. Alam natin, itong Maldives ay nasa bucket list natin, no? So we have to really um, finish the race, no? And keep your eyes on the prize, no? Which is the travel incentive trip in Maldives in 2022. So going back, no? We have just ended our business accelerator bonus. Business Accelerator Bonus, this is where no, um, it will really help you accelerate or create the momentum in, of your team. I would just want to emphasize that even though we have finished our enrollment period, we still have a chance, no, yung enrollment period natin was, uh, was uh, May, March 27 hanggang May 8. So if you were able to uh, uh, bring in people to your organization on this six-week enrollment period, lahat ng associates ng USANA are eligible to earn 10%. So kung meron kayong mga bagong enrollment or bagong um, team members who were enrolled from March 28 to uh, May 8, no? Sila uh, you you are still you are still eligible to earn a CVP bonus from the total sales volume generated sales from your newly sponsored associates na na-enroll natin during the 6 week period. So lahat ito you get uh, from 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 the Philippine market. Ayan. Yung mga bagong associates new from the Philippine market, you will be able to, to enjoy the 10% commission volume points from their CVP. Okay, this is based on CVP, which includes initial orders, one-time order, and auto orders, paid and processed during the promotion period. So, kapag nakapag-enroll kayo kahit dun sa last week no, ng ating enrollment period, you still have six weeks to enjoy the 10% commission volume points from the sales volume points of your direct sponsors. 
So eto po yun, not only you will enjoy the 10% um, commission volume points during the enrollment week, di ba? So you still have eight weeks, okay? So meron na po nga dalawang week na nakalipas. So you will still enjoy eight weeks to avail or to enjoy the 10% commission volume points kapag no nag nag uh, personal uh, personal purchase yung ating direct sponsor um nag purchase uh, nag uh, um business center upgrade and then nag auto order so you will still get 10% commission volume points for that and um also this is the right time no pwede pa tin nating going talk of the town the right time to really accelerate your business to maximize the business accelerator bonus para ma-inspire yung ating mga uh, bagong associates no if they are running for their um the premier platinum pay setter if they are running for their rank advancement if they are trying to qualify for leadership summit lahat yun pwede po kayo uh, you will be um you will uh, get the benefits or it will be very uh, advantage no gagamitin nating advantage itong business accelerator bonus sa ating mga rank advancement and qualifications so that's for more questions for more inquiries about the business accelerator bonus please do not forget to visit the hub no nandun pa po yung ating mga mechanics and instructions regarding our business accelerator bonus now alam ko excited na excited kayo no so we have we have already 500 uh, almost 560 associates in our Zoom call, no, and we have we are also live sa ating uh, Facebook ng Yusana Philippines. So if you have associates, bagong mga members of your team, bagong associates, please do invite them to join this call because this is really a very very powerful um, training tonight because sa 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 title palang the power the power of auto order and we have a powerful speaker tonight who is going to talk about this very, very, very basic and important business essential. All right. So let me just uh, let me call on our um, speaker for tonight who will share with you the importance or the power of auto order. So we have invited our one star executive, one star Diamond Director, Caleb Edbao. Good evening, Caleb. All right. So good evening, everyone. Good evening, Ma Michelle. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for uh, that uh, beautiful introduction, simple introduction. No? So again, good evening sa inyong lahat and welcome to our uh, training, syempre, organized by our very supportive no, corporate. No? So imagine nyo, actually, Philippines lang ang, ano, ang malakas. <laughs> okay, malakas talaga ang support ng corporate ng Philippines. No? So no wonder why. Malakas din ang sales natin. Okay, so sa lahat sa inyo naman nandito sa training na to, siguro kaya kayo nandito, it's because one of your major challenges in the business probably is your auto order, di ba? Or one of the major challenges then that you're facing in handling your organization is how do you uh, keep your downlines in auto order. No? So wala akong slides ngayong gabi, so it's just really more on uh, sharing sa inyong lahat, no? pero... Uh, meron tayong ilang ba? Ilan na tayo dito sa room? So, nasa mga 591 na tayo. So, ibig sabihin, uh, medyo marami-rami ang kinakaharap ang challenge na to sa auto order. no Pero, I'll be sharing to you guys, no ano ba talaga yung beauty? Kasi sabi ko nga, in everything naman, no for as long as people really get to see the importance and the value of something, so, parang kunwari, with regards to our products, no, most people would really say, mahal daw yung products na sana. Pero we all know naman na hindi naman talaga mahal yung products natin. No? Very competitive yung price ng products natin. Pero for people who really sees the value no, on something, no, hindi, dun na, hindi na ngayon, mabaga parang money will never be an issue. Di ba? So, yan yung isa sa mga major goals natin right now it's for each and every one of us to really be able to see the importance talaga and the value of auto order. So, before tayo pumunta doon, uh, para sa lahat ng mga first-timers, no, let me just give you a quick background of myself para at least magkaroon din kayo na idea na during the time when we were really starting out the business, talagang ito yung major challenge din namin sa negosyo which is auto order. No? So prior to Yusana, 
uh, yun nga, ang, ang background ko, never ako nag-work pagka-graduate ko ng college kasi I was in third year college when I was already introduced to network marketing. So network marketing talaga yung business. Pero I'm very thankful no, to this industry because this is what stretched my psychological wallet. Eh. So di ba sabi nga ni Les Brown yan, di ba? Once the mind of a person has been expanded with an idea or a concept, it will never be satisfied to going back to where it was. So parang dati, syempre, ang direction ko is IT, di ba? Corporate, di ba? Na parang yun yung, kumbaga ma-i-pursue yung career ko as an IT. Pero when I saw people who are really doing business, I saw that the results no? <laughs> that they that I can also get out of pursuing business is really far greater no? than the results that I would be able to get if ever... Oops, na, wala aking camera. Yeah. So if ever, I'll just uh, pursue yung career ko as an IT. No? Pero yun nga, uh, hindi naging maganda yung ex- first experience ko with regards to network marketing because we joined a local network marketing company. Pero syempre, I would always say that, uh, di ba, meron tayong kasabihan, charge to experience. No? Pero the previous companies that I have actually joined no? uh, made me get to see the difference talaga of Yusana. Why is it that Yusana is really such a stable business? No, ano ba yung and what makes Yusana a stable business? No, and that is the power of auto order. So technically, yung iba sa inyo, no, na kung first time yun yung network marketing, uh, parang yun nga, you you will be able to really start seeing it as a challenge, no? Pero sa mga nagni-networking na, yung mga may experience rin sa networking, ayaw na ayaw nila ng auto-order. Okay, alam niyo kung bakit ayaw na ayaw nila ng auto-order? Kasi sa, usually sa networking, lalo na yung mga dating na salihan namin na networking, ang trabaho lang talaga mag-recruit. No? Ayaw na ayaw namin yung nagbibenta ng products. Basta pay-in lang ng pay-in. But of course, no, looking into that kind of system, we could already be able to determine that that's is that's not a sustainable business because if the business is just really all about recruitment no, eventually when the recruitment stops that's when the business dies as well no so kaya maraming uh, negative with regards to the industry of network marketing it's because that's the kind of system majority of the local network marketing companies in the philippines have no so so yon but uh, i was 23 years old nabaw na ako sa utang kalahating milyon no, because of that kind of system in network marketing the 2008 no and that's that's around November of 2008 that's when we've heard about this company coming into the Philippines no sabi nga Yusana number one yung products no number one yung compensation plan so medyo paso na ako noon kung tutuusin sa network marketing eh. no, pero kasi nga pangatlo pangapat ko na bali yung Yusana Okay, tapos nabawon pa ako sa utang before yung sana kalahating nila. Pero di ba minsan magtatalong kayo na, na what made me still get into this business, get to this same kind of industry, you know, a company in the same industry that got me into a huge debt. It's as simple as, no, na kung totoo sa'yo, paso na nga ako, pero ba't pa rin ako naging sana? It's because I saw the difference. No? Parang, parang ganito, yung sana is somehow the opposite no kumbaga exact opposite ng mga companies na nasalihan namin before okay so yun nga and syempre wala akong uh, business background wala rin akong uh, or formal business education so wala rin ako magandang network kasi nga nasira na yung network na maliit na network na lang na meron ako natitira nasira pa because of the previous businesses that uh, we've engaged no uh, we were engaged at so, nasira yung network. Tapos, pangatlo, with regards to skills, hindi pa rin kami ganun ka-skilled kasi we didn't really gain uh, so much ano, exposure and experience no, sa previous companies na sinalihan namin. Okay. Pero, kaya ko yung kinakwento sa inyo para sa lahat ng mga bago pa lang na dito, medyo ma-compare mo kasi most people would really uh, find us na, ah, Sina, yan yung mga top income earners na yung sana. Kaya yan top kasi magagaling sila. Da? Kasi mukha silang mga kapanipaniwala. Mga ganyan, no? Pero siguro mas maganda para medyo ma-inspire na rin kayo. Okay, so... Meron ba ako rito? Ano? 
ay wala yung share screen. Okay. Walang share screen na. Sa day. O wala eh. So, basta pinopost ko naman minsan sa social media kayo mga pictures. Na. Hanapin niyo na lang. Kasi pag nakita niyo yung mga pictures namin before, sasabihin mo talaga, no? Uh, wala talaga yan number one sa itsura. <laughs> Hindi pinag-uusapan kung ano itsura mo ngayon. Hindi pinag-uusapan kung anong status mo ngayon, di ba? Hindi pinag-uusapan kung uh, may pera ka ngayon o wala, di ba? Sabi ko nga, what's important right now is you know where you're headed. Alam mo kung saan ka pupunta. Alam mo kung sino yung gusto mong maging ikaw. Okay? That is what's most important. Alam mo kung sino yung gusto mong maging ikaw. Alam mo kung saan mo ba talaga gustong makarating. Okay? So, kasi lahat naman tayo, di ba? Para sabi nga, lahat naman tayo. We were, sabi ni, sino ba nagsabi nun? Si Steve Jobs, di ba? We were all born naked. Pero syempre, pwede nyo iba may mga advantages. Pero minsan, kung papansinin mo, given all the advantages, meron din yung ibang tao. Why is it that, alam mo yun, hindi pa rin sila nakakapag, uh, they don't really get to to create or create massive results, di ba? So it's really all about, sabi nga, it's not about what you don't have, but it's what you do with what you have. Okay? So now, we have this great opportunity. What you all have is the same opportunity that I have that led me to where I am today. So given na syempre gagawin nyo rin yung mga ginawa namin, di ba? Uh, towards uh, building, uh, working on our business in Yusana, I believe that you all too no, will be headed to where we are today. So, bago tayo pumunta doon, 45 minutes lang naman tayo. Eh. Okay. Meron lang akong, gusto ko lang kasi bigyan kayo ng mga konting inspirasyon. Okay. So, sa lahat ng mga nagsisimula ngayon, ganito yan. Magkakaiba talaga tayo ng time frame sa negosyo na to. It's because, always remember this ha, we are all coming from different places. Okay. Magkakaiba tayo ng starting point. Okay. Pero, if magkakaiba tayo ng starting point, it doesn't really matter. Kasi ang importante, pare-parehas tayo ng ano, ending. Okay. Nag-gets nyo yung concept? No, hindi pinag-uusapan kung magkakaiba tayo ng starting point. Ang importante, pare-parehas tayo ng destination na gustong marating. Okay? So kaya, if you're new right now, you might be able to see some people na medyo mabilis sila sa negosyo. Pero yung iba, medyo mabagal. Pero talang sabihin ko sa inyo, huwag mo ikumpara yung taste mo sa taste ng iba. Kasi may mga magkakaiba talaga tayo ng pacing. But again, no, ang gusto ko lang i-emphasize is, alam mo kung ano yung destination na pupuntahan mo. So ganito ko lang siya i-explain. Okay? So let's say, for example, ito yung Star Diamond na destination na gusto natin lahat parating or million dollar club member yan okay so that's the destination that we all want to arrive at okay yun nga lang pwedeng ganito uh, or let's say itong MDC na to ito yung enterprise yan so para mas ano mas ma-visualize natin ito yung enterprise center okay sa may Makati okay. so lahat tayo saan tayo pupunta sa enterprise center. Pero, magkakaiba ba tayo ng pinanggagalingan? Yes. Kunwari ako, taga rito, nandito ako ngayon sa BGC. So, technically, mas malapit ako sa enterprise. Tama ba? So, meron ba dito mga taga Laguna? Meron din. Okay? Yung mga taga Laguna, medyo malayo. Okay? Meron ba dito mga taga Singapore? O, oh, may mga taga Singapore siguro dito. Mas malayo yan. Tama? Okay. So ngayon, yan yung point ko kanina, no? Na we're all coming from different locations, different places, but what's important is we're all headed towards the same destination. Yan nga lang, ito lang yan. Syempre, yung from BGC, mas madali siya makakarating sa enterprise. Pero ano yung ano yung parang uh, illustration ko ng BGC? Ganito yan. Yung BGC para siyang mag siya na yung may magandang market. Okay? Eh, yun yung parang description niyan. Kaya minsan may mabilis na nag-gold. Di ba? May mabilis na nag-ruby. May mabilis na nag-diamond. Kasi pwedeng may maganda na siyang market. Meron na rin siyang skills. Ah, and at the same time, uh, meron din siyang, sabihin natin, quality talaga. Meron din money. Kaya maganda rin yung market. Di ba? 
Tapos ano pa? May credibility. Yan. Okay? May authority. Nagigets nyo? And na-maximize niya lahat ng mga advantages na meron siya. That's why that person was able to probably get to gold or ruby or diamond na mabilis. I guess nyo? Pwede nga itong talag- taga Laguna, meron siyang magandang market pero kulang pa siya sa skills. Uh, so it will probably take that person quite some time. Kasi de-develop pa niya yung skills or pwede hindi pa ganun ka, ganda yung attitude niya, disciplines niya. Diba? So it will take some time. Lalo na ito. Pwede yung, pwede ito, yung illustration ng SG, pwede ito yung walang skills, walang authority, walang credibility, walang market, walang pera. O, lahat wala na. Wala pang itsura. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, kaya ang layo eh. No? Pwedeng matagalan. Okay? Ngayon, sasabihin ko, sino, sino yung parang example ng SG? Okay? Ako po yan. <laughs> ako po yan na nagsisimula ako ng yung sana. No? Pero kaya kaya ina-explain sa inyo. Because even if this was me, it wasn't a hindrance for me to get to where I am today. It's because when I was starting, kahit wala ko niyan, what's important is I was sure where I am headed. Okay? Kaya may kasabihan, di ba? It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there, just get there. Okay? Kasi itong mga i-explain ko sa inyo, syempre auto-order, no? This is what helps people also stay in the business. This is what helps you see yung long term talaga ng potential ng business natin. Kasi not until you see no, yung talagang future mo sa isa na yung stability ng business na binibuild mo talaga, no, you wouldn't also have the excitement and the patience no, na trabahuhin talaga to. Kasi sometimes uh, it takes quite, kumbaga, it, it takes quite some time eh, for people to really get to see the results. Pero minsan, kahit nandiyan na yung results, pero ang nilulook forward din ng mga tao is yung idea na gustong kumita kahit walang gawin. Yung passive income. Yes, darating tayo dyan, no? E, isang advantage siya ng auto-order. Pero siguro, as of the meantime, ito muna yung gusto ko ma-establish sa inyo. Okay, pangalawa, okay, clear din natin to. So, pangalawa, uh, bago tayo pumunta sa auto-order, Siguro gusto ko gusto ko ipakita sa inyo yung worst case scenario ng business ng niyo sana. Kailangan makita natin. Yan. Ano ba yung or ano ba yung practicality? Okay. Why is it that this business is so practical? So the moment you see the practicality talaga of you sana, you will also get to see the, the advantages and the importance of auto order. Okay? Paano to? So ganito lang yan. Uh, minsan, kapag kumakausap ako ng mga tao, kayo na lang muna na nandito. No? So, I believe, kaya kayo nag na, given na yun, maganda yung products. Okay? Pero, bakit kayo nandito sa Zoom training na to? It's because you want to do the business. And bakit mo gusto gawin yung negosyo? Kasi gusto mong kumita, tama ba? Okay. Pero eto, gusto mo lang bang kumita o gusto mong yumaman? Okay. <laughs> Kasi syempre, there's a big difference between the two. Tama? Okay? So, kaya nga sabi, di ba, kapag may goal ka, dapat specific yung goal mo. Di ba? Anong goal mo? Kumita lang ba ng extra income or talagang yung mama kumita ng mga million sa iyo sana? Di ba? Okay, okay. So, ganito. Huwag na muna natin pag-usapan yung pagyapan. <laughs> o, di ba? Labo ko eh. Di ba? <laughs> Parang ina-encourage ko kayo na yung mama dito sa negosyo na to. Pero wag muna natin pag-usapan yung pagyaman sa isa na. Okay. Let us look at what's, what probably could be the worst case scenario. No? The worst thing that can happen to you provided na gawin mo yung isa na. Okay. So number one, ganito. Okay. Ano ba yung dalawang pinaka-importanting uh, dalawa okay? na may, kumbaga, dalawang aspect ng buhay that affects almost all the other aspects ng buhay natin. So we know that no? because we always share that through our presentation. Number one talaga is health. Tama ba? And number two is finances. Okay? So those two plays a huge ano, parang role no? sa, sa buhay natin. 
Although, hindi lang yan dalawa ang pinaka-importante. Siyempre, relationships, di ba yung spirituality natin, okay? Uh, emotions and all, no? Pero, itong dalawang to, somehow, affects all the other aspects. Eh. Major yan. Eh. Kasi when your health suffers, everything else suffers. No? When your finances suffers, affected din that. Stress ka, affected health mo. So, pag naapektuhan na ulit yung health mo, mas lalong maapektuhan yung finances mo, relationships and all. Okay? So, kaya, the practicality talaga of doing you sana is simply like this, no? Na parang lahat kayo na nandito na sa negosyo na to, huwag muna natin tignan talaga yung, yung negosyo at tignan muna natin ano ba talaga yung value ng products na meron tayo. Okay? So, here's my question to all of you. Now that you know the importance of nutrition, diba? the role of nutrition sa health natin, so, I believe, no? siguro naman, halos lahat tayo medyo properly educated na talaga about the important role of nutrition. Nutrition really plays a huge part sa health natin. Okay? And now that we are all educated about that, uh, syempre, lahat tayo, no? alam natin, tatanda tayo. Okay? So, dalawa lang naman ang pwede natin pagpilian. Eh. Dalawa lang naman ang ending sa health natin. Eh, ba? It's either tatanda tayo ng may sakit, okay? Or at least tatanda tayo ng healthy. Okay? So ngayon, pag pinag-usapan natin yung health, parehas yan, gagastusan natin ng pera. Tama ba? Tama ba? Gagastusan mo parehas ng pera? Gagastus ka ng pera pag may sakit ka, gagastus ka ng pera pag healthy ka. Kaya nga, di ba, may kasabihan, healthy is a gift, but being healthy is a responsibility. Okay? So, syempre, when we say being healthy is a responsibility, no? so may kakakibat yan na responsibilidad eh, na, na kailangan natin talagang gampanan. And part ng responsibility na yan is gagasusan din talaga natin. Pero, for me, no, ganito lang din ako mag-isip. No? Just being practical about it. Kung eventually tatanda tayo, tatanda ako, diba? gagastos din ako pag may sakit ako, gagastos din naman ako pag may healthy ako, no? saan mas practical gumastos? Kapag may sakit ka na o habang healthy ka pa. So as we all know, it's more practical to start spending money na while we're still healthy. Okay? Kasi nga, at least ito, masakit lang sa bulsa. Tama ba? Siyempre, pag, ang, pag, para maging healthy ka, given na yan, may gagastos ka talaga, masakit din sa bulsa. Pero pag may sakit ka naman, parehas din eh, masakit din sa bulsa. Tama. San pa masakit? Masakit pa sa katawan. Tama? Kasi siyempre, <laughs> sasuffer yung, yung physical body mo eh. Tama? Ito pa, masakit pa sa puso. Tama? Kasi masakit din, minsan na nakikita mo yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, Diba? Na parang nahihirapan din dahil nahihirapan ka. Or kung yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, may sakit din, ikaw din nahihirapan for them. Tama? Nagigets nyo, mas maraming masakit dito kapag uh, may sakit. So, kaya for me, when we talk about health, it is more practical. No? To really spend money while we are still healthy. Okay. Kaya nagigets nyo? Uh, ngayon, pinapaki, kumbaga, at least makukonect nyo na to sa auto-order natin. So meaning, the auto-order in our business is not basically for the business. Okay? Ang auto-order natin, say sana, is basically para sa sarili mo at para sa family mo. Okay? So, yan na yung Kumbaga, kung may insurance, so sino dito ang mga may insurance? So siguro, ha, lahat naman tayo may insurance, tama? Imaginein mo, if you have insurance, you're willing to pay for something that you don't, you don't want to use. Ha? Sino rito, nagbayad ka ng insurance, as excited ka gamitin yung insurance mo? Yes, kung gagamit ka ng insurance mo, kakasakit ako, aksidente ako. <laughs> Wala naman ganun eh, di ba? So, that gets me yung point ko. No? If we are willing to pay for something that we don't even want to use, pero syempre, we know that it's also important. No? Na, kasi we don't know when uh, accidents would happen. No? Okay, so, basic need din yan. Okay, pero, yun na nga yung point. Eh. If that is something that most people are willing to pay for, which they don't want to use, how much more no? 
yung sa you would pay for something that you would be able to use and enjoy. Does that make sense? Uh, so siguro when we start to look at auto order first of all kahit tayo ng mga distributors no it's not something that we look at on the business perspective muna kailangan makita muna natin talaga ano ba talaga yung heart kasi ng niya sa and that is really the products because the vision of this company is a world free from what pain and suffering the sana family will be the healthiest family on earth so that's the core of our business tama okay so ngayon Okay? Hindi pa natin hindi na natin muna pag-uusapan ng finances. Okay? So, uh, as we now talk about yung products ng Yusana, okay? and if it's something that uh, kumbaga parang we are really going to spend money for, kasi parang part na yan ang basic needs natin. Eh, diba? so, so, ngayon, ito yung next. Okay? Is it something that you would ano is it something that you would really tinatanggal natin yung business side muna now that you know the importance of health nutrition sa health ng tao so is it something that you would share to your friends and family number one, family muna tama it's but normal the moment you start really seeing the value of nutrition for your health no you would want your family first of all no, to benefit from it and you would also want yung mga tao na concerned ka no to also be healthy kasi di ba minsan kapag may mga kaibigan tayo kapag mag-anak din tayo na nagkakasakit nadadamay din tayo eh, kasi di ba <laughs> minsan mangungutang din manghihiram may eh. minsan di ba ikaw rin naman kapag uh, mga mga kamag-anak hindi mo matiis di ba affected din tayo eh tama so is kumbaga for me no uh, i believe na uh, what's good is really meant to be shared. Kasi di ba, minsan yung mga negative nga, yung mga chismis na negative, di ba, parang ang bilis kumalat eh. Pero dapat, yung mga bagay din ang magaganda, no? dapat mabilis din yan kumalat. Okay? And kaya may responsibility rin tayo eh. Because we know already of something good. Eh, di ba, nakalagay din sa Bible yan, if you know of something good, then you just, you're just keeping it to yourself. And then you're selfish, di ba? So what's good is, Uh, again, no, meant to be shared. Kaya, there are actually a lot of people who are doing Yusana or who are members of Yusana or using the products of Yusana who are not even maximizing pa the business side of it. Pero ang daming nare-refer. Kunwari sa akin, may mga kaibigan ako, hindi naman talaga active sa business. Pero man, nagre-refer. Nagre-refer ng pinsan, nagre-refer ng tita, nagre-refer ng kamag-anak, kaibigan. Ama? Okay, kasi nga, ano, Maganda, pag nakikita sa kanila yung benefit, pag may nagtanong, nasi-share din nila. Okay? So now, okay. tingnan natin yung business side ng Yusana. Tingnan nyo, ah. pinag-uusapan pa lang muna natin yung sa health. Okay? So, buburahin ito. Buburahin muna natin. So ngayon, uh, just try to imagine this, no? na as you start sharing the products of Yusana to all your friends and family, Okay, di ba kanina pinag-uusapan natin yung pagyaman? Okay. What if hindi kayo yaman sa isana? Okay? Hindi kayo yaman sa isana. Pero lahat ng friends mo, okay? Relatives and yan, mga relatives family no? na educate mo properly about the importance of nutrition and the quality of the products of isana and all of them Okay, walang nagdi-negosyo ah. Okay? And all of them are using the products of Isana. Okay? Pwede enroll mo sila sa PC, kunwari, 'di ba? PC or yung iba, associate pero nag-auto order lang for personal consumption of products. So, ngayon, eto 'yan. Hindi ka yayaman sa Isana. Pero sa lahat na lang ng mga friends mo, lahat ng mga relatives mo and buong family mo out of their consumption, personal lang nila personal and family consumption nila ng products, okay? It is not enough to make you rich. But, ito yung catch, no? What if yung points na napoproduce mo from consumption lang ng friends, family, and relatives mo ng products is enough na to pay for your own auto order? 
Kunwari, lahat ng mga nasharean mo, kamag-anak mo, kaibigan mo, di ba? Na gumagamit lang ng product sa isa na yung orders nila is enough to pay for your own auto order. Ito, tanong ko sa inyo, panalo ka na ba doon? Panalo ka na doon. Alam mo bakit? Kasi you already have a lifetime. <laughs> Parang ganun na yung dating, eh, di ba? As long as they're also lifelong using the products of Pisana, kasi nga, essential yan, eh. health maintenance yan. Eh. Di ba? So, tuloy-tuloy din yung, ano, sabihin natin yung points mo from the products that they are actually purchasing. No? And yung income mo, dun sa points na naiipon mo, is enough to pay for your own auto order. For me, dun pa lang, mayaman ka na. Kasi nga, health is wealth. Okay. So, ngayon, ito yung catch dyan. What if yung mga nasisharan mo, friends, relatives, or family, hindi naman all, but some of them later on, Would, would realize na, kunwari ako, no, Caleb, nakakalibri ka pala sa products ng Nissan. Na paano ba yan? Okay. And what if I start sharing to them the program that Nissan offers to people? No, parang program to eh. No, referral program, parang ganun yung dating eh. Now, there's a program that when you share the products of Nissan to other people, you will get to be rewarded. And the way we are being rewarded is through points. And yung points na yon coming from the products. So, products pa rin yung core ng business natin. Okay. Pansin niyo halos lahat naman ngayon ng mga establishments, no, ng mga business, no, meron kahit ng mga call center companies, eh, di ba? Kapag meron, ka, meron mga, ano tawag nun? Meron mga uh, training agencies, yun, mga ganun, okay? Kapag may napapasok sila, syempre sila nagtitrain, tapos na, napapasok nila sa mga companies, they are being paid for that. Tama? Okay. Pero sa atin, uh, in return, no, as people buys the products of Yusana, syempre, kung ikaw yung nag-share sa kanila, no, we are being rewarded ng Yusana ng points. Okay? So ngayon, as I establish that sa inyo, gusto ko lang mapakita na number one, di ba, parang yung auto order talaga natin, ang isang advantage talaga niyan is, ano, okay? Uh, kasi, di ba, parang, nung time namin, wala pa kaming auto order discount. Nung panahon namin, wala kaming auto order discount. No, kung ano yung member's price ng Yusana, that is the exact uh, price din namin as auto order din namin. Auto ship pa tawag namin ng panahon namin. Okay? But Yusana is so generous no? na right now and they want to encourage talaga people to really go on auto order. It's not really just because of the company wanting to earn. No? Kung tutuusin, di ba, parang ano nga eh, uh, lugi nga sila dun kasi technically nung panahon namin wala auto order discount eh. Pero ngayon may auto order uh, out from the member's price pa ng Yusana para lang ma-encourage tayo na mag-auto order. Diba? Binigyan pa tayo ng additional 10% discount ngayon ng Nisana. Okay? So, ngayon. Sige. Tapos na tayo dyan. Okay? So, may, may natututunan naman ba kayo? <laughs> okay. So, kaya ko yung gusto syempre ma-establish sa inyo para ngayon pa lang, di ba? Makita nyo talaga na ang heart ng business natin is really the products. Okay? So second, punta na ngayon tayo sa negosyo. Kasi some people, they would say na parang yung misana, mahirap yan as a business. Kasi bakit? Kasi monthly meron kang auto order. Pero na-establish ko na sa inyo yun. Na technically, no, pag na na educate talaga natin yung mga tao na dinadala natin sa Yusana no? and they become a member of Yusana, it's not really for the business primarily, yung auto order. It's for their personal consumption of products. Okay? But second, looking into the business side, ganito lang yan. Yung time namin, ako, syempre, wala pa rin akong ganun kalaking kita sa business. Wala rin akong trabaho for me to be able to sustain my auto order. Pero paano namin nasusustain yung auto order natin when we were starting? Siyempre, perspective pa rin. Number one, business. Doon ko na-realize na kaya pala long-term yung Yusana. Kaya pala stable yung Yusana. Because it is a legitimate business. 
Okay? It is a legitimate business. Na before ka talaga, tingnan nyo, in the US kasi, they're very strict with regards to network marketing. No? Hindi lang ito masyado na-explain sa atin. Then why is it that it is a requirement in the US na dapat at least may auto order? Okay? Ganito lang yung logic dyan. Kasi if a company, tingnan nyo ta, if a company pays a distributor, okay, if a company pays a distributor commissions, pero that distributor cannot justify that he is running a business. No? And the way you run a business, it's either you were able to, what? Number one, sell a service or a product. Okay. So parang yun yung reason behind it na kaya at least no may uh, kaya may auto order pero at least very minimal lang ginawa lang na isa lang for personal consumption so that they they could that is justify na the reason why I paid this person a commission it's because ano he was able to sell products no? parang parang may justify mo na may negosyo ka in what way ganito lang kung may tindahan ka tapos lagi kang kumikita no pero hindi ka nagre-replenish ng inventory mo kahit nga service yung business mo eh, may inventory pa rin yan Kuwari, i have a traditional business here in DGC shoe cleaning Tama, service yung ino-offer natin pero may inventory pa rin kami okay kasi inventory namin ng, ng cleaning solution di ba and and all no mga paper bags lahat pa yan Okay, yung mga materials. So, may inventory rin. So, meaning to say, kunwari, parang may tindahan ka o may restaurant ka. No? Tapos, hindi ka nagre-replenish ng products mo. Okay. So, how can you justify na you were able to earn a commission? Eh, wala kang, paano mo ma-justify na may nabenta kang products? Wala ka namang nire-replenish. Okay. So, doon ko naiintindihan yun nung talagang ina-explain din sa amin na kaya pala may auto-order. If, titignan mo na ngayon yung business side ng Yusana. Why is it a requirement for Yusana to, uh, for us to at least no, have a minimum of 100 points auto order so that we can ano, justify uh, that we are qualified to earn commissions because we're legitimately doing business. May products tayo na, na pinapurchase and binibenta. Okay? Pero imagine nyo, very minimal lang. Yung, yung inventory natin kung tutusin ng product. So when I was starting, ang ginagawa ko, dahil hindi pa ganun kalaki yung kita ko, so syempre, ang basic, sa totoo lang, ginagamit ko lang talaga before is, was the sell essentials. Essentials pa nung time namin. So, now, how was I able to sustain the business? Ganito lang, kasimple. No? Pangalawa, if you're really doing business, ibig sabihin, you're looking for people to share your products to. You're looking for people to inform them about your products or your services. In our case, products. That's that's ane, That's how you build a business. That's how you grow a business. Because no matter how good your products are or services are, for as long as people don't know about your products or services, wala pa rin. So yun na yung marketing side. Niya. Ama? So ang ginagawa ko lang nung nag start ako, simple lang. No, I use one essentials nung time namin. No? Pero sa essentials na yun yun. I use one essentials, pero syempre, nasa three to four products ang 100 points lumalabas. Eh. It's either tatlong sa essentials, no? or nung time namin, parang apat na proflabanol, mga ganyan, biomega. So nasa three to four or five or six products, depending on the products of your choice. So what I would just do in order for me to sustain yung auto order for the business side is I, I, every month at least, I look for two to three customers. Pero ganito yan. Para sa inyo ng mga nagbibuild. Ang strategy ko talaga before is not really more on retailing. It's not really more on selling. So every time I approach people, every time I prospect people, ang binibenta ko talaga sa kanila is what? No? Yung buong concept ng isa na not just about health but also the business opportunity. So meaning to say, if ever hindi sila mag-join, okay? yun yung pinaka-pangit na na pwede mangyari sa akin sa negosyo ko. Kapag may kinausap ako, hindi nag-join. Okay? At least, gagamit ng products. Mapatry ko ng products. Bumili ng products. So, meaning to say, it is not really 
through selling the products that is my primary intention it is through sharing the totality talaga of Pisana of health and business. Pag hindi niya binili yung business, at least, ang ending health. So, hindi retail talaga yung habol ko. Because if you all really want to build a uh, lasting no, and a solid business nyo sa Yusana, no, uh, huwag kayo mag-focus lang more on retailing. Ang i-focus talaga is to really build an organization of business builders as much as possible. Okay? So, so yun. Uh, uh, that's what I've been, ano, uh, that's what I was doing no? when, when I was starting in order for me to somehow sustain my auto order. So, kaya ganito. Pag kumakausap kayo ng mga townlines nyo or ng mga tao na nagjo-join sa Isana, for me, yun lang talaga yung number one na strongly and greatly ina-emphasize ko talaga, no? It's to educate them properly about the importance of nutrition no? so that at least, parang ang worst case niyan, pag minsan yung mga tao na mahina yung loob, di ba? parang hindi man nila makita yung sarili nila na kahit nilang gawin yung business, at least they are still going to use the products because they were properly educated about the importance of nutrition for their health. Okay? So yung iba nagpapatu gives pa daw. Okay, so kanya-kanya ang diskarte yan, pero somehow <laughs> ako parang ang hirap gawin nun. Ano? Kasi minsan, uh, although kanya-kanya ang diskarte yan. No? Pero uh, yun, okay? So now, uh, tingnan natin. Okay? So as you now start to build your business, ganito lang din yung concept. Okay? Siguro medyo time na ako. At dito ako mag end Okay. Lahat kayo na nandito, if you're really serious on building your business in Yusana, I want you to also start seeing this business as if it is a traditional business. No. What do I mean by that? Ganito yan. Okay. Let's say, for example, I have a restaurant. Okay. Meron akong restaurant. And that restaurant can seat up to 20 customers. Kunari ah. Okay, yung restaurant ko na yan can seat at least 20 customers. Okay? So, if that restaurant can at least seat 20 customers, how many employees do you think I need for that restaurant? In order for that restaurant to run and operate. Okay? Ilan, ilang employees kaya yung kailangan ko for that business? Yes, at least five. Okay, let's say five. Pwedeng meron akong dalawang cook, no? tapos meron akong dalawang servers at meron isang sa accounting cashier and all. Okay? So five at least. So five or six or seven. Or let's, let's say five. But my point, no, ang gusto ko i-point out dito is this. How many people, yun yung gusto ko, diba? na in-establish ko. How many people do I need for the business to start operating? At least five people. So, pag may lima na akong tao, anong tanong? Tatakbo na ba yung negosyo ko? Tatakbo na. Okay, kasi uh, meron na magluluto, may magsaserve, no? may mag-accounting, uh, mag, mag all. No? Okay. So, ngayon, if I already have five people to run and operate my business, a traditional business, which is a restaurant, no? every, every one else is what? Just a customer. Everyone else, so para ganito, lahat ba nang pumapasok sa restaurant ko, re-recruitin ko ba? Gusto mo mag-work dito? Gusto mo mag-work dito? Gusto mo bang mag-work dito? Hindi na. Tama? Kasi meron na akong limang customers. Ay, meron na akong lima that, that helps run my business. Okay? So siguro iba sa inyo, nalilito. No? Where, where am I going with this? So, ito lang yung gusto ko i-point out sa inyo. Okay, ito na yan. Here's my question. Okay. In, uh, in your business, okay, for example, ako, in my business in you sana, ang totoong tanong, ilang tao ba talaga ang kailangan mo for your business in you sana to start operating? Ilang tao ang kailangan mo para yung negosyo mo sa iyo sana mag-start na tumakbo. Okay, sabi ng iba, two. 
Ama, sabi ni iba 2, iba 4, PPPS yan, okay? Iba 6, iba 4, okay? Iba 2, yan. Naka-direct message kay sa akin. No? So, ako lang pala nakakita ng mga chat nyo, no? So, hindi nyo nakikita yung chat ng iba. Okay? So, at least nakikita ko may mga nagpa-participate. Okay. But technically, okay? Yung iba sa inyo, kasi pag tinatanong ko sa mga leaders ko, kasi ito yung light, isa sa mga ine-establish ko palagi for Uh, to people who joins you sana in our organization, no? na uh, kung gusto mo talagang mag-negosyo sa you sana, kailangan maintindihan mo to. Okay? So my question is, how many people do you need for your business in you sana to start operating and to start running? Some said four, siguro dahil PUPS. Some said two, siguro dahil left and right. Tama ba? Okay? But the reality is, you only need one person. Kasi ang question ko, ilang tao ang kailangan mo para mag-operate yung negosyo mo? Ilang tao ang kailangan mo para tumakbo yung negosyo mo? Ang kailangan mo lang, sarili mo. Tama? Kunwari ako, kakapiin ko lang ngayon, tatakbo na ba yung negosyo ko nang ako lang? Yes! Kasi bakit? I can now start enrolling people. Kahit di sila mag-build ng new sana, tumatakbo na yung negosyo ko kasi namumove ko na yung products, namamarket ko na yung products. You get my point? Okay. Because the moment you realize that, na it's only you, no? Kumbaga, hindi ko sinasabing huwag kang maghanap ng leader, no? pero my point is this. Whether I find someone who becomes a leader in the business, or not, wala man akong makita, my business will not stop. Ito kasi problema dun sa iba eh. Diba? Tingnan mo, pag may traditional business ka, nag-resign yung isa, sasara mo na ba yung negosyo mo? No. Because you won't let an employee who resigned from your job, no, ruin your business, entire business. Tama? Because it is, kung sa tradition, it is my business. No? Okay? I need to find at least kung, kung five ang kailangan nun to operate, oh, I, I just need to find a replacement. And with you sana, no? in our business in you sana, you only need yourself. So, so hihinto lang yung negosyo mo pag ikaw yung nag-resign. <laughs> Ama, pero kung meron ka mga customers nag-stop sa product sila, oh, your business can still operate. No? Tuloy-tuloy mo lang i-operate. Tuloy-tuloy mo lang patakbuhin. Kung may mga distributors ka nag-stop sa business, that doesn't mean that your business is done. Tama? Because your, your business just requires one person for it to keep on running, for it to keep on operating. Ikaw lang yun. No? To tell you honestly, that mindset has helped me get to where I am right now. Kasi nga, kahit marami ako, nung nagsisimula ako, halos lahat ng mga napajoin ko, eventually, di nag-build. Then of a day, I realized this is my business. I just need to keep on running my business. I only need myself for the business to keep on running. Tama? Okay? So, ngayon, di ba parang kung iisipin nyo, siguro nag, nag, uh, naghihintay kayo, no? ano ba yung mga advantages ng auto-order? Technically, given na yan, <laughs> may discount, no ang auto order syempre kung gusto mo nga lahat ng mga downlines mo di ba na parang lahat sila nag auto order ang benefit niyan may auto order max out ka ana additional 250 dollars no pag nag max out ka sa left and right mo through auto orders pa lang di ba 1000 dollars ang maximum na income may additional yan na 250 dollars so given na yun na given na yun lahat ng mga bonus na yun, advantages na yun. But basically, no, the core ng negosyo natin, if you want to have a solid business, is to really emphasize on the importance talaga of nutrition and sa health ng tao. And once you get to establish that to every person who's joining your business or, or who's, whom you're talking to who uses the products, rest assured ka. Yung tao na yun, kahit hindi minsan mag-100 points na auto-order kasi hindi naman siya builder, no? 
Pero ano, mag-auto-order pa rin yan kahit one cell essentials a month or one cell essentials with one biomega a month. Tama? Okay? So, and ang titignan nyo rito is yung, ano yan eh, ang Chinese, no? ang, ang mga Chinese, kaya yun yung mayaman, hindi lang dahil dun sa mga one-time, big time na malaking kita. Ang mga Chinese, ang ha- sila kahit piso yan, no? kahit minsan centavos yan, no? hindi sila dun nakatingin sa piso at sa centavos, sa volume sila nakatingin. Kaya sabi nila, kahit ako, di ba, piso or 50 sentimo, kita, tito, toothpick, tama, eh lahat Pilipino mag-toothpick, ako yaman, kita, million. <laughs> May kagets, no? Okay? So, that's what I want you guys to really start seeing. Ngayon pa lang, na nagdinegosyo kayo sa isa. No? Pero yung kaninang na-establish ko, friends, family, relatives lang gumamit ng products ng isa na. O, hindi ka nga yayaman, pero at least makalibre ka sa products dahil through their personal consumption, panalo ka pa rin doon. Pero, tingnan nyo nalang yung cycle nun. Ang cycle nun, what if yung mga friends and family mo, madiscover din nila na may program nga na pwede rin silang makalibre sa products by just introducing the products to friends and family rin nila nagagamit. Eventually, your organization will grow. And ha- habang lumalaki yung organization mo, di ba, you now start getting getting it by the volume. Okay? So ako, in my 12 years of being or doing you sana, no? so, again, y- yung in-establish ko nung una-una pa lang, magkakaiba tayo ng pacing, no? pwede yung iba mabilis, kasi may mas malapit na sila, kasi may mga advantages na sila, pwede yung iba may mabagal, no? pero syempre, ang importante, tignan mo pa rin, ano ba talaga yung long term. So, I was asked before, I'll close with this, no? ito klak na, overtime na ako. I was asked before by uh, Crossline, eh. sabi niya sa akin, Caleb, ano yung one-liner mo? Ano, ano yung one-liner mo na every time you say it to people, nag-join sila? Okay? Gusto niyo malaman? Ano yung one-liner? <laughs> so, gusto gusto niyo malaman, no? <laughs> Ang sagot ko, wala. <laughs> Okay, walang one, walang one liner na alam mo yun, isang isang sabi natin phrase lang o sentence sa sabi mo lahat ng tao magjoin no because iba-iba ng need yung mga tao iba-iba sila ng kailangan marinig and realize okay pero ito ko, but if there's one thing that I always say to people no, that I talk to it is always this whether seryoso mo yung isana or not Just don't miss out. No, it's as simple as that. Pag may kinakausap ako, after ko ma-presentan, no, sasabihin ko lang sa dulo, no, gawin mo man yung negosyo, seryosoyin mo, or hindi, ito lang yung sabihin ko sa'yo, just don't miss out. Just don't miss out on this great opportunity. In what way? Ganito lang. P- pwedeng hindi mo pa nakikita yung value ng health mo ngayon, Okay? Okay lang. Because someday, I know for sure, you you probably will. Kasi tatanda, eventually pwede magkasakit. No? Pangalawa, ganito. Just, why is it na sinasabi ko yun, just don't miss out, sinexplain ko rin. It's because, it's as simple as this. Whether you like it or not, your friends, family, relatives, no, will eventually get to hear about you sad. Malalaman din to ng mga friends, family, and relatives mo from someone else. So, for, so ang ina-establish ko na kahit seryosoyin mo siya ngayon, kung seryosoyin mo, good. Kung hindi, okay lang din. Just don't miss out. Number one, on you being healthy. Number two, at least, no, pwede mo na rin siyang ma-introduce sa mga kilala mo. Na kahit di rin nila gawin, di ba, yung negosyo, at least, ikaw na yung nag-introduce sa kanila. Kasi ang concept ko lang din, nung nagsisimula ako, sabi ko lang sa sarili ko, di ba, I don't want na dumating yung panahon. No? Na I will see my friends, family, and relatives taking the products of Isana and hindi sa akin pumapasok yung points. Kasi bakit? Di ba, parang that would be a, a big regret, no? 
pag sana din pala kayo, sana, sa akin na lang kayo kumuha, eh, no? sana, sa akin na lang kayo nag-join, mga ganyan. Like, gets na. So, yun lang. And, paano ko ma-justify yan? Maraming minsan, iba sa inyo, na-experience na to, no? Ako, may mga nakausap ako, pangatlong beses na napresenta ng new sana. Yung iba, pang lima na, napresenta. In short, ang dami na nagpresent sa kanila, hindi sila nag-join, no? Pero ito lang din yung sinasabi ko. Minsan doon sa mga pangatlo, pang-apat, pang-limang beses ko na napepresenta. Pero ito lang yung introduction ko sa kanila. Pag mong sab- sinasabi ko, kulari pang-lima, ah, pang-limang beses mo nang napresent- mapepresenta ng yung sana, ay pupusta ko. May pang-anim pa. Kung hindi ka mag-join ngayon, <laughs> may pang-anim pa, may pang-pito pa, may pang-walo pa na magpepresent sa inyo ng yung sana. Because later on, down the road, no, meron ka pa rin mga ibang kakilala na may invite ko. Kasi ma-introduce din sa kanila yung products na yung sana. And it happens. Kasi bakit may mga ganun, pang lima, hindi nila alam, may isang kaibigan nila that they never thought na mag sana, eventually mag sana, invite sila, kaya sila sumama sa invitation because they never thought nga that that person is also going to do yung sana. Pero, yun yun. So, uh, now that all of you di ba, are already part of this great company and just be reminded that we're here on a mission. So yes, ang mission natin, di ba, is not just to really earn in the business, but uh, we are in a mission of really uh, sharing no, yung true health sa mga tao. And that's why I always say then na rarely do you find an opportunity no, that is both rewarding na rin and at the same time fulfilling. Uh, kasi maraming mga rewarding na opportunities ngayon, eh, di ba? Mga investments, mga negosyo. So, no, nakikita ka ng malaki. Pero bakit ko sinabing rare yung rewarding and fulfilling? No, kasi pwedeng sa iba, kumita ka ng malaki, pero ikaw lang. No, pero inyo sana, hindi pwedeng kumita ka ng malaki nang wala kang na-improve na buhay ng mga tao. Tama? So, kikita ka by helping or by improving the health of people around you and kikita ka rin by improving the finances of people who will also work with you in building the business. And that, for me, uh, is what gives also us fulfillment. Uh, for uh, More than the money that we're earning in Yusana, when we see the lives of people around us improving as well, both health and finances. So that is what also gives us fulfillment. Okay? So I hope meron kayo kahit pa paano na mga na-realize and natutunan no, na uh, with regards to makoconnect natin sa auto-order. You know? Okay, na ma- iba yung perspective natin, yung auto-order, hindi lang talaga siya for the business. So it's really more on yung talagang core and heart ng business natin, which is really the products. Okay? So thank you again, uh, Yusana Corporate, for inviting me to uh, share somehow no, yung insights ko with regards to this topic. So congratulations is sa lahat sa inyo for making it uh, this far sa training na to. Okay, kasi minsan matagal talaga yung mga trainings, pero thank you for being patient and I hope you guys really learned a lot and I'll see you all 